Okay, I'm Andy. I work at Unitech in, in uh, Auckland and I'm one of the uh, automotive lecturers there. Now, this is my own workshop, it's not the one at Unitech. And I've finished teaching for uh, 2015 and I do lots and lots of home jobs um, on vehicles, motorcycles, quad bikes, cars, you name it. And it's quite useful for me to produce videos which will help uh, me teach my students during the year and I see no reason why I shouldn't share these videos with you guys too. Um, we've got a little, if you can see it in the background, a little RAV4 down there, look. And on the first video that I produced, uh, we fitted a new CV boot to the passenger side front drive shaft. Um, the main job, the reason for doing all this, is that the wheel bearing on the passenger front had some play and it was making some pretty weird noises and the customer complained about it and wanted me to investigate and I pulled off the hub and found that really the wheel bearing wasn't the problem the problem um, was this and I'm just gonna get it for you right I'm back um, the problem and I have seen this before on vehicles was the drive flange now the drive flange sounds very technical but it's not that's the bit of metal that's got the studs where your wheel bolts on and this is supported by it's on the car like that it's supported by the wheel bearing that sits here inside the knuckle joint and the wheel bearing itself has two bearings it's got two inner races uh, the outer one sits on there and the inner one sits on there and what's happened in the past and I must admit whoever did this before uh, not on this wheel bearing, on a previous wheel bearing, the inner bearing has seized up, which means the inner race has stopped turning and it started to wear down this machine surface. Now, what it's created is a clearance. Somebody's fitted a new wheel bearing, hoping that's going to fix the problem. And of course, it hasn't. This, this shaft is still, or this, this flange has still had some very small amounts of clearance between it and the inner bearing inner race. And it's been moving around like that and these bearings are not adjustable it's not a bearing issue anyway um, it's the fact that there is a clearance this shaft here is smaller than it should do now um, I put it on the micrometer and it's about half a mil um, difference between the diameter it should be uh, which is the one for the outer race and the diameter that's um, that, that basically mates into the uh, inner race uh, of the bearing is about half a mil smaller in diameter so we've got a bit of movement now, when, they, when you accentuate that out to the edge of the wheel, that actually means there's quite a bit of wobble on that wheel, a bit of free play. And that would be a warrant fail. It's also putting undue stress on the drive shaft. It's gonna wear the splines, probably creating a bit of a knock when you go over a bump as well as it's banging around inside that inner race. Um, can it be fixed? Not really. We, I did price one of these up um, through Toyota, 250 bucks. Bit expensive Toyota. Um, especially with an old vehicle so you're going to have to keep these sat on your shelf uh, and what I did instead is I went out and I sourced a complete second-hand knuckle joint so that gave me um, a knuckle joint which I didn't really need um, it gave me a wheel bearing which I've tested and it's fine um, which is usually retail for about 120 bucks up to about 150 bucks depending where you go uh, and it also gives me a good second-hand drive flange which is what I need. And I paid in total 200 bucks for that. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I got the wheel bearing that I needed and I got the drive flange. And I've got a knuckle joint, which isn't damaged, that I could chuck onto eBay or in New Zealand we have Trade Me, and I can sell it and get some money back. Um, or the customer can, or I could sell it and not tell the customer, or you know, whatever. It's um, all down to your own integrity. Okay, so um, I'll show you, take you over to the knuckle joints and bits and pieces and show you what I bought. Okay, so first off, this is the old knuckle joint. Let me go and get the um, drive flange as well so you can see how it all goes together. There we go. All right, so essentially, that's the new one, or should I say the replacement second-hand one from Toyota's Galore in South Auckland. Thanks, uh, Brennan. And this is the one that came off the car. Now, there is nothing wrong with this knuckle joint this is what we call a knuckle joint and the bearing sits in here quite a large bearing that's the outer race of the bearing uh, this is the 
the actual bearings themselves, they sit in there like that. And for example, that there is an inner race, and that sits in there like that. And the whole thing's replicated on that side as well. You can see there's a another large groove for the other bearing set to go in. I won't bother putting the whole thing in. But that then fits in there and it's held in place with a very large circlip normally. And it is, in fact, if I can get the right one, that one was sitting on on there on the drive flange. Can you see it's loose? Now on the car it's a lot more loose than that and it probably sits, oh no, that's about right. So you can see that rocking around and that's the play and that is never going to go away even with a new wheel bearing. It's the gap is between the inner race and here where it's worn down. You can't really see too well on this camera but there is a step where I'm putting my nail now and if you come across that it's scrap. You need a new one gentlemen and ladies and whatever you are. Um, and there you go. So that's the old one and we can, I'm going to need the, the bottom ball joint that's got to come off easy enough to do and fit that onto the new uh, or replacement knuckle joint. But then this chunk can be cleaned up and it could be put onto eBay. And people do buy them and the reason why they buy them is when the cars are involved in frontal impacts, uh, these things get bent, which affects wheel alignments and tyre wear and that kind of thing. And as these vehicles are getting older and older, and there is a lot of them around at the moment, but there's you know also a lot of them um, breaking, um, parts are harder to come by. So it could be sold or the customer may decide to keep hold of it. Okay, so we've, on this particular job, we've changed TV, CV boots. We've replaced knuckle joints because of damaged fl uh, drive flanges. And of course, now we've rebuilt it all back together. So just, just really chuck the wheel back on, go for a test drive, make sure it's all good. And uh, it's job done. So really, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful to you. Uh, my name's Andy Young, and I work for Unitech. I'm one of the lecturers there. And I do like to make videos to, to show people uh, really how easy cars are to work on. Good job. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.